Okay. Um, here's another dream I had. This was about two nights ago. So if today is August 9th, it probably would have been about August 6th or August 7th, the night of. Um, this dream, I was in an assembly. And I don't know if it was like a school assembly or if it was a political assembly, but it was an assembly um, where everybody was sitting in like kind of like a theater chairs and there was a stage and on the stage there's a woman standing at a podium and she was very official, kind of like a politician. Um, and she was either for the United, a politician for the United States government or um, she was a politician for the United Nations, something like that. Um, I keep thinking, I keep, I keep picturing like a Nancy Pelosi kind of, I mean, she had the short, you know, short hair, um, and she was standing up there and kind of, you know, maybe mid 50 ish, you know, age, um, standing up there and she was explaining how rules were about to be changed. And, um, the funny thing was, is that, and this is the impression I got was that I heard her talking at a certain point. She was saying, well, Things are going to be different. But in my head, I heard her continue to talk, even though nobody else heard her talk. It was kind of like a, I understood her meaning behind it, was she said, things are going to be different. She meant, we're going to mess with your memory. And basically, it was kind of like, there are going to be visitors, what we consider aliens, um, coming from another place who were going to, and and then all of a sudden, at that point, when I heard her say that, um, and they're going to mess with her memory. Oh, sorry. sorry, got interrupted again. Um, anyway, so when she when she said, you know, basically like our memories were going to be affected, um, all of a sudden I pictured an alien, like you know the pit, the gray aliens, like you always picture. Um, and but it seemed it was taller than what you typically imagine. And it kind of looked back at me, and I've never had a I've, I've had I've never had a dream about an actual alien before. Um, looked back at me, and he was kind of like, "Yeah, so we're gonna change your memory to where you've always known us." And I was like, "So people basically, so people wouldn't be would be more accepting of their arrival was that their memory would be to ex in, in order to accept them, uh, their memory would be changed as if though they had their entire life known them." And that way they wouldn't be nervous or scared of the changes that were going to take place. And then all of a sudden I was, you know, sitting there in the assembly listening to her talk about the rest of it. And I just sat there and I was like, I knew it. This was the deception. This is exactly what we were expecting. And when I say the deception, I don't know exactly what the great deception is going to be. Um, but even the elect will be deceived. Um, it could be a number of things. This could be one of the things that we're deceived of. But I believe that it, it it's possible. Um, but anyways, in my dream, it was very, very interesting. And I remember a, a lot of me si sitting in the remainder of the assembly was trying to piece together. Um, so our government is aware of it is what I was thinking. Um, anyways, uh, I've had one similar kind of invasion dream I had posted before, um, where there were these robots that were breaking down the city. You can go back and, and see about it before, but I didn't see any beings or anything. I just knew that the machinery was alien. Um, but anyways, uh, and I had come to the realization, I think it was back in like 2000 and 2007, 2008, I was standing in my kitchen and I remember going, oh my gosh, aliens are, are evil. Aliens are de demonic, you know, and that's what, and I went, it makes so much sense. And it just hit me and I had looked on YouTube over and over and over again and I couldn't find anybody that had a similar idea. Um, now it's all over the place, but, um, I guess, you know, God's opening each other's opening minds and he's also getting people to talk more. Um, I held it. I didn't, but I didn't post anything about it and I'm sure a lot of other people didn't either. It, it seems kind of like a crazy idea. Um, but, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so at all anymore. Everybody seems to, the only video that I did find was of a guy who, um, he refused to, he took, it was basically all language, you know, him saying what had happened instead of his actual voice because he had been videotaping what he thought were uh, beings um, in his backyard and such. And so he got kind of, um, he got uh, addicted to it and he was doing it every day. 
and uh, I wish I, I knew the video link. I can't find it anymore on YouTube. Um, and then they started tormenting him at night, and he had never had abduction videos or anything like that before. I don't want to scare you. I mean, all you, you, you can believe it, but you have to trust in God that he's there to save you, and Jesus is there to come in and and uh, and save you from anything like that. That's not going to happen to you. Don't worry. Don't don't allow fear in. There's no reason to be afraid. Um, they're decaying beings. They're they're dying. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. We we are the children of God, so don't worry about it. But um, I don't want to scare you. But um, anyways, he was taking these videos, and he had posted a few of them on YouTube, and he took them all off because they were tormenting him, and people who had seen his videos were getting tormented because of it. So um, it was his warning, and I only that was the only video I could find. It, it at least validated me a little bit to where I didn't feel so crazy because I had mentioned it to my husband, and he was, he was like, oh, Jen, come on. Um, so anyhow, uh, just thought this dream was interesting. Um, kind of, I've been paying a lot more attention to to words that I'm hearing in my head that keep getting repeated over and over again. You know, God's tapping on my shoulder. Uh, look this up. Um, read this scripture. Um, I remember the first one was really hitting hard on me was Galatians. Was, Go back to Galatians. Read Galatians. I had nothing to do with this dream. That was a few months back. But I'm just saying he's pressing on us now. Um, there are a lot of people that have been hearing his voice for a really long time. And uh, there are others who are just starting. And I think he's starting to reveal things through dreams a lot. And we need to listen to that. We need to listen to each other. We need to be there to support each other. Um, if you feel driven to post your dreams, post them because they're validations for us. We're looking for confirmation um, that it is coming from the Lord. And always pray for discernment and, and wisdom. And God will bring it to you. If you have questions about anything, he's there for you. He's going to answer your question in due time. So if he doesn't answer it that night or the very next day, he's going to bring it to you when it's time. Um, but he will answer your prayers. Um, and uh, anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that I have one more dream to post. And um, <laughs> she's being upset. She's really mad. Um, but I love you guys and y'all have a good night. Okay, bye.